Aryan, I have a very important question because we get asked this question a lot, mm. right? And obviously we did meet in the bar. <laughs> G'day, this is Peter and Aryan from Casa James and today we're talking about a very controversial subject and today's topic is about dating bar girls in the Philippines. So Aryan's got some questions, I've got some questions and we're going to discuss ultimately dating bar girls here in the Philippines. So Aryan, do you want to start with the questions? Okay, I'll throw you the first question. My first question is, would you date a bar girl? I have to answer yes to this because actually I have dated several bar girls in my lifetime. Yes, I have. And I, I wouldn't say I've had a serious relationship with a bar girl, but I did have one particular relationship here in the Philippines that got semi-serious. But uh, my friends warned me about this particular person and I decided to cease dating that person. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. And yes, yes, I, uh, I did really like that person. I didn't really want to break up with them, but I did. Would you date a bar girl? Would and I date a bar girl? Well, I have, so the answer is yes. Again, would you date a Again? bar girl? Again? Yes. yes, because some of these girls are, are very pretty. And not only are they pretty, they can be very extroverted, they can be very fun and open towards foreigners, to foreign expats. So, yes, I would. If you're not in a relationship. If I'm not in a relationship. Okay, just want to be clear. <laughs> just being clear. <laughs> okay. Okay, are bar girls players? So are they cheaters? Do they scam foreigners? Are they playing the field? Do they have many sponsors? I think it depends on the person, not because they are bar girls, but I think they would have a lot of knowledge in relation to like knowing the tricks around it. Like the tricks. Yeah, like because they're. Do you know any tricks? I don't know. <laughs> are they players? Are most bar girls players? Yes or no? Maybe half of them would be players, in my in my guess. Okay, so it's a maybe. It's, it's a, a maybe. maybe. It depends on the person. I'm going to answer this actually some bar girls you need to be very careful of because they might already have a boyfriend. They might actually have their boyfriend sending them to the bar to earn money. That does happen. They might need the pair up. They might also be dating, you know, several men via long distance. So long distance relationship and using, you know, online and, you know, dating apps and this sort of thing to have several sponsors. So this is why I don't re recommend that guys actually without meeting and spending time with a woman, you know, actually send money overseas. If you're in America to send money to the Philippines could be dangerous if you don't really know and trust that woman 100%. Yeah. Also, I think it's not, maybe it's easy for them to move on, not because they're out there they're yeah because they could be dating four or five yeah. guys simultaneously i mean because they're meeting men every single day in the bar they could meet more than one they could meet three four or more guys in one single day and that's something you got to think about yeah yeah so but not all of them are bad girls yeah well this leads me to my next question yeah are bar girls gold diggers Well, you know, they work in the bar to make money, yeah, right? Yeah, that's their job. I think they're just trying to, you know, I, 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 we've been going to the bars before, right? We go to the bars together before. Yep. And I met, I've met a few bar girls or waitresses who is actually a kind person. They're nice and they don't want to be in there. They, they, were, they were brought in that, uh, uh, in that position because they need it. They don't have a choice. So I kind of feel bad for them. So I well, think it could be a single mom. Yeah, it could, it could be, be a yeah. single mom. And seriously speaking, they're just trying to support themselves. They don't have a lot of skills. 
they have a limited amount of time because yeah. they have children. Actually, what you'll find is a lot of bar girls are actually genuine and they're just there for the money and to support their family, to support their kids. There are a lot of bar girls trying to escape the bar and hoping they'll find a foreign expat to ultimately save them, okay? Yeah. Save them from the bar, take them away from the scene and um, you know, live a life and even marry them. Yeah, and I've met a few bar girls before who's actually studying and I, she was making money. She was trying to get money as much as she can to support her uh, to support her studies I, I I think I met one girl from Barreto before so so you dated a bar girl? no I didn't date it I was just uh, casually having a conversation with her and asking about life I'm only kidding yeah and that's why would you date a bar girl as you as Arya I'm not a lesbian so no well try anything once right <laughs> okay your question so my next question is, would you recommend a foreigner to date a bar girl? Depends on the expat, because if it's an expat who's looking to get married and settle down, I would not personally recommend dating a bar girl. But if it's a foreigner that wants to have a casual relationship and maybe have some fun with a younger and quite a pretty and attractive girl, then it can be a good place to find a nice pretty girl. Absolutely. And some of these girls are very extroverted, very friendly, and more open-minded than traditional Filipina that, you know, don't work in the bars. Because some traditional Filipina can be adverse and, and against actually dating foreigners. So it can be quite an easy place to find women. Having said that, you need to be careful of which bar girl that you date. Are you finding a genuine one who really just wants to get out of the bar and really she's just a single mum and seeking security? That might be a good selection for you. But if it's a girl and she's just chasing the dollars, there's always going to be another guy and you need to be careful because she might have two, three, four or more sponsors and that's where you need to be cautious. So to be fair, it really does depend on the woman. What do you think about long distance relationships with bar girls. So you might have come on holiday and been a tourist and met a girl in the bar and you know having a long distance relationship with her. What do you think about long distance relationships in general? Uh, if you're starting to date or you haven't met the guy, I think it's, I could accept like six months to one year being long distance, but more than that, I don't think I can survive it. Yeah, that's fair to say. I think, you know, if it's in the short term with the goal in mind to eventually live together, then it might be okay. However, I think you need to be careful because again, if it's a long distance relationship in particular with a bar girl, you might find that they're having relationships with multiple men. How can you trust that she is not meeting with men on a regular basis behind your back while you're out of town or overseas in your home country. So that is definitely a concern and obviously having multiple sponsors and things, I think it can be very, very dangerous. And again, I do not recommend sending money back home. What if you're dating a girl and you have been talking to her for like a few months mm. and then you suddenly found out that she's working in a bar, how would you feel about that? Okay, that is a really hard question. So if you only found out that she's a bar girl later on, then it would depend on the initial questions I asked her. So if I originally asked her, what do you do for work? And she told me she worked in retail. And then six months later, she told me she's a bar girl. Then I would be very, very upset because I would feel that you know, I've been lied to and can I trust this person? Big question mark there. And yeah, no, you can't really trust that person because they've lied to you. And if they've lied to you once, they can you know, lie to you again. So for me, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I probably would not accept that. Can you find normal girls in the bar? Yeah. Yes, yes you can? Yes, you can. You can find normal girls. What, what does it mean, normal girls? Well, how, how do you explain normal girls 
Like, okay, well, good question. What is normal? What is normal? So, look, I think definitely you can find normal girls, what you'd see as normal girls in the bar. Because, look, at the end of the day, they're not good. They're not bad. They're only human. And you've got to remember that. We're talking about a human being. You know, so this is a normal person. But again, you need to be cautious because some girls can be more naughty than others. And you just got to verify, you know, trust, but verify. You need to make sure that the girl you're dating is being honest with you, trustworthy, and most importantly, safe. Like I've said earlier, I've met few uh, girls in the bar who's actually very nice. And they don't want to be in there for you know, their whole life. They're looking for some guy, yeah. some foreign expat to save them. Yeah. Also, they're, sometimes they're just you know, uh, saving money to, you know, to get out from that, you know, from that situation. To I buy think. a house. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not to buy a house, but to support their education so they could have a better, you know, be better job, better life. So I think you can still find them. Okay, next question. So how do you feel, like we're in a relationship, right? How do you feel if I go down with my mates on a weekend, on a Friday night, to a girly bar, okay? How do you feel about that, seriously? Because girls might come up to me, girls might chat me up and ask for a drink, ask for me to buy them a drink. How do you feel about that? Well, you, we have this, you know, we have, we have been very honest with each other. Mm -hmm. So I prefer you telling me that you will have a boys night out rather than you going behind my back and going to this, you know, to the clubs and bars. And I don't... So you're okay with it? I'm okay with it. As long as, you know, you keep your limitations. Mm. So you go, you come back home, you come back home safe. That's, you know, what I So think. what are you saying? I might <laughs> never come back home. <laughs> no, I, I mean, you just, you know, you just keep your limitation and I know you have been doing that. I don't really mind it if you're going, as long as you're telling me the truth. Because I don't like you keeping secrets with me. I'd rather you tell me that you will go out to the clubs. Honesty is the best policy. Yeah. yeah. You go out to the bars with your mates rather than you know, keeping it secret from me. Any other questions for me? Uh, would, if you lost all your money, <laughs> would you send me to the bar to work? <laughs> what? Would I send you to the bar for, to work? Yeah. Okay, so this is a legitimate question because I've actually known guys, foreign guys and Filipino guys who have actually sent their girl to work in the bar. Perhaps they don't want to, you know, work overseas and go back to their home countries. So, you know, they've actually sent their girl to the bar. No, absolutely I would not. I would definitely take a job overseas or I would do whatever is necessary that you would not have to work in the bar, so don't worry, sweetheart. <laughs> but legitimate question, because some guys do. I have seen that happen before. Okay, so Aryan, I have a very important question because we get asked this question a lot, mm. right? And obviously we did meet in the bar. For those that don't know, we met in a bar by the name of Handlebars. Okay, so Aryan, be honest, be 100% honest. Did we meet in a bar? And are you a bar girl? Were you? Were you a bar girl? Yes. Yes. I mean, you asked me in a bar. You asked me to be your girlfriend in a bar. So I asked her out for the very first time yeah. in a in a bar called Handle Bar. Yeah, yep. called Handle Bar. You asked me to be your. So girlfriend. did you work at that bar? No. We just usually. Did you ever work at any girly bar? No. So you did not. Okay. <laughs> It was, I don't know what bar means or what bar looks like until I met you. So the girly bars, I don't know until I met you. So I'm the one that corrupted you. That's what she's saying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So yeah, for those that were interested, no, Arin has never worked in a girly bar. But if you would see me in the bar, probably I'm with him. <laughs> Most likely. Yeah, actually, we were in the bar one time, believe it or not, and a friend of a friend came into that bar, and I think I went to the CR or something, and he actually came up to Aryan and offered to buy her a drink. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yep. And it was kind of embarrassing because Aryan had to 
you know, politely explain, hey, I don't work here. <laughs> so that that was the thing that actually but happened. There was a time also when we you, when you were in Thailand and then we went to I went to Beretta to look up, look for something I think uh, to look for a property or, and then I was with 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 and then paid for the was that paid for the the dinner or I think the lunch, late lunch he paid for the late lunch because I asked him to come with me since I know he wants to go there and then. I feel bad because he paid for the, 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 the meal. So and he wants to go in the bar but he couldn't say, Oh, I want to stop by. So I, I was like, Okay, let's go in the bar. So you went to the bar without me? Yeah, but I told you about that. I think you were video calling us. I well. think you told me. Huh? And then there was <laughs> around with three girls and I was in the bar. I, I'm having a beer and then there was a guy who came up to me and offered me a drink and then I he told me do you can I buy you drinks? So I look at him like, I had to think about it, honestly. But, oh, it's a free drinks. Why not? But, oh, but I, she took the drink. No, I did not. Because I... You I, did it? No, okay. I did not took the drinks because I, I had a thought, maybe he would, would, after giving me the drink, he would touch me anywhere. And I'm, I'm kind of freaking <laughs> out. I said, no. And then after so that guy came up to me, he told me, oh, let's go. I had enough to go home. It's not good. That's good. That's good. (laughs) So it's it's funny. All right. In conclusion, I just want to say this. In the Philippines, it's unlike other countries, for example, Thailand, whereby really a lot of the girls in the bus just want your money. They're not looking to have a long-term relationship. They just want to have short time with you, get money and move on to the next, the next, the next guy. Okay. It's like that. Next. But in the Philippines, honestly, I do think it's different. There are a lot of women who honestly have no choice. They might be single mums. And remember, these are normal people. They're not good, they're not bad, they're just human. So just remember that and keep that in mind when you're meeting with a a bar girl. And remember, they have feelings too, okay? So that's definitely important and to respect the bar girl. And yes, I think it is possible to have a genuine relationship, you know, a, a good relationship with a bar girl, but you need to find the right girl. I don't believe in long distance relationships, especially with bar girls and sponsorship. Don't do that. That is a big no, no. So if you're looking to do it and be serious, look to live with them on a permanent basis and have a serious relationship with them and treat them like they would be any other woman. That That's what I, I think about it. And look, you can definitely find some young and very pretty girls who genuinely want to get out of the bars here in the Philippines. So that's my uh, two cents worth. Yeah. All right, so thanks for watching and bye for now.